Welcome to another Praise in the Morning. Uh, it's a bit later than normal, it's a Saturday, I've had a lie-in, so we're going to get straight into the psalm. Uh, psalm 12, it's a psalm of David. I'm going to read through it now, and I'm going to read from the, the New King James Version. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly, everyone, with his neighbour, with flattering lips, and the double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaks proud things, who have said, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he yearns. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of earth purified seven times. You shall keep them, O Lord. You shall preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men. This psalm, as we've said, is a psalm of David. It's in a similar context to some of the previous psalms that have gone before, where he's still in difficulty, he has enemies around him, people that say in words that are not right, but he hasn't at this hasn't here fled away. He's still, uh, still in the midst of it all, and he cries out I like the, this version, just these versions where that just say, "Help, Lord!" Okay, it's a simple thing. It's just a cry for help. Uh, the English Standard Version says, "Save, O Lord." I quite like the way it just says, "Help." Okay. How, how clearer can we be if we pray to God and we just say, help, O oh Lord, help me. Okay, and then just tell him what's wrong. It's a simple lesson to learn, not to hide our true need of help. So the, this psalm is a comparison, really, from verse 1 to 4 and then 5 onwards about how, the, how words are either false and which words are true. It's a comparison of who is speaking words that we should trust. Okay, it's important. There's a lot, as we know today, in today's society, there's a lot of fake news, there's a lot of uh, fake information out there, a lot of misleading facts, a lot of misleading stories that can often lead us into false positions of thinking or uh, fear. But here, whose word is faithful? In verse 2, it shows us that the ungodly, that the faithful are disappearing. And those that speak here, it says, with a flattering lips, with a double heart. Uh, in the NRSV, it speaks of the double heart literally as a heart and a heart. Some, it's two hearts, speaking with one heart here and another heart there. That's not the kind of words that we can rely upon. When one word is coming out of the mouth and then another one is in the heart, it's false, it's untrue. It's a level of uh, deception that is so, we're actually so used to within society because we know when we hear a lot of people speaking, it's just spin, it's not real, it's, it's covering over the truth. And we have to hear clearly what God says to our hearts. Even a lot of Christian words are spin, are actual, they're not actually clearly based in the truth of God. And we have to be really careful that we base our hearts in the promises of God, in the, in the truth of God. Because his words, as it says in verse 6, are pure words. Other versions speak of flawless words. Like silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times. I'm not going to go into the detail of that here because... We might do another psalm on that particular verse, another uh, session on that particular verse, because it's rich with uh, things that sustain our hearts, that God's word is so refined, our understanding of it. We shouldn't hide away from the truth of it. Even things that we don't understand in it, we shouldn't let that hide our hearts from basing our trust in him. The words of the, the faithless, the deceitful, they think they're okay. He says, our lips are our own. We can 
who's going to who's going to do who's going to change who's going to lord over us but god hears the deception just as much as he hears what we pray and what we speak and we must hear the words of the of the rising lord now i will arise what a wonderful wonderful word from god now i will arise says the lord what echoes of grace what echoes into eternity of the risen savior oh wow you can almost, you can almost take your take your heart and your mind into the into the very throne room of god into the heart of jesus in death now i will arise god will rise up at the right time he will rise up and do what he needs to do in our lives to fulfill his promises and to fulfill his words because his words as it tells us are perfect flawless tried in a furnace refined and refined and refined seven times perfect god will keep his words god will preserve them from this generation to generation to generation they have not changed they're no different from one generation to the next this is the great blessing and promise of god cry out to god this psalm is bookended with help o lord for the godly man ceases and in verse 8 the wicked prowl on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of men it starts and ends with a reality check but in the middle of it, it gives us this comparison. Of whose word are you going to trust? And that's something we, we face every day. We hear lots of things. You'll read lots of things in social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever it be. A lot of it's spin. A lot of it's a heart with a heart. It's deceptive. It leads you down an alleyway that has got no, no way through. Put your trust in God. Listen to the words of God. When, the, when there's deception, when there's, a, as it were, a lack of hope, listen to the words of God that sees the oppression of the poor, that sees and hears the sighing of the needy. And God says, now I will arise. I'm about my business. Just like Jesus said, I must be about my father's business. Jesus is about the business of God at fulfilling his words from eternity to eternity. Now I will arise. The resurrected Lord, the Lord who is, has authority over heaven and earth and will fulfill his words. Amen.